Okay, so let's critique this monstrosity right here. Oh my gosh. Wait, does that reindeer have two legs? Why is the sleigh a box or an oval? Is that a speech bubble or is that a sack of toys? Is that a star? Is that a moon? Oh my gosh, are those antlers? Why does Rudolph have a baggy eye? I mean, why is Rudolph so tired? You think that Santa would- Where is Santa's nose? Where is Santa's mouth? What is going on with this picture? Okay, okay, okay. So you're probably looking at this and thinking, why in the world is Priscilla critiquing this three-year-old child's doodle? That's because that three-year-old was me. In 1993, I doodled this wonderful piece of art. And this was my first official Christmas card. And I thought it'd be fun to go back in time and redraw this image with my skills today. So I was three when I doodled that picture. And now I'm 27. I know, I'm so old, but it's okay. The kids that I work with always say, oh my gosh, are you like 21 or 19? They're just trying to get brownie points, but still. <laughs> so I was three years old when I doodled that picture and I thought, okay, I'm gonna make it the same size. I'm gonna include the same things. That means I need Santa, Santa sleigh, Rudolph, the moon, the star. I honestly don't know if that was a speech bubble or a Santa sack of toys. <laughs> So I'm gonna leave that out and I'm gonna give poor Rudolph four legs because no reindeer can operate without four legs. We all know that. <laughs> so I went ahead and I doodled it first with a pencil and then I used my light board to go ahead and trace it with inking just so I could have a nice clean picture. And I decided to do this in Copic markers just because this is our family Christmas card and it needs to be reproduced about... 120 times because that's how many cards we send out every year so uh copic markers are really great to scan and to adjust in photoshop so that's why i wanted to do copic markers as opposed to watercolor nobody actually gets watercolor right when they're scanning it and they want to make mass production of cards out of it the watercolor never ever turns out right so okay every year for christmas my family does a Christmas card. And since I was three years old, you see that doodle right there? <laughs> that was the first official Christmas card my family put out as a family. So that means all the way through till I'm right now, today, as a 27 year old, I have designed our Christmas cards every year. And it's just a really fun way to, it beats all the other Christmas cards. So if you are a child of a family and you do Christmas cards, this is a great way to do your Christmas cards because it's original and not only that people because you know not everyone has a Facebook so they can't keep up with your art so every year if you're sending out a Christmas card that you made yourself then people can actually keep track of seeing how much you improve every single year and I've seen that like my aunt at my old at her not my old house her old house in Michigan I would come over and I would see her like she would had like this big her big door frame was decorated with my carts and they were all in chronological order from year to year. And I got to see my improvement and what I did. I did different mediums. I did different themes. I did a Polar Express theme. I did a Chronicles of Narnia theme. I always tried to include Jesus somewhere in my Christmas cards too because I'm gonna be cliche. Jesus is the reason for the season. So I, I had to throw the star, the um, Bethlehem star, right there in the middle between Rudolph and Santa. So every single one of my cards has Jesus involved in some way. I, last year I did Copic markers for the first time with my doggies and they were whole, they were little two little puppies uh, and they were holding ornaments out of their mouth. And it's just, it's just interesting because I really appreciate it when people actually save my Christmas cards and I've actually, they have come back to me and they've told me, oh Priscilla, I have your Christmas cards from when you were three years old and I decorate them and I always look forward to your Christmas cards, you know, all the blah 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 of people complimenting on your art and it's awesome, it's really really awesome. So if you're thinking about doing Christmas cards with your family, this is a great thing to do. Even if you're an adult and you have a family and you have kids, that this is the best way to do Christmas cards, I think, because I love homemade Christmas cards. And it, I mean, they're not homemade, you're not making them all individually, but it's easy to scan and Photoshop and then send it off to Staples or we have a local 
postal store that does scans and they make the cards for us, but Copic markers and markers are really great when it comes to this kind of stuff just because the reproduction is really easy and the colors come out bright. Watercolor, not so much. Colored pencils come out great. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've used in the past. I've used acrylic paint. We've, we've taken pictures of my paintings and we've used that as Christmas cards. It's the best way to make Christmas cards. In my opinion, of course. Or you could go and spend a hundred and seventy thousand dollars on pre-made glitterified Christmas cards. Who knows? <laughs> but yes, I really enjoyed redrawing this doodle. I tried to fit everything in. I kind of scrunched Santa into his little sleigh. I mean, you know, he's, he's making a quick trip. He forgot to give Jimmy um, his awesome trouble game board set. I don't know. He forgot to drop off a, Nint a Nintendo Switch at my house. I don't know. He's, he's coming over and he's going to drop off the Nintendo Switch at my house. Basically, he forgot. So he's like, come on, Rudolph, let's go. <laughs> but here they both are together. It's really fantastic. It's a full circle moment looking at these two right now. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your Christmas. I hope it's all going swimmingly well and not too crazy yet, but I will talk to you all later. Bye!